This is a loving kindness meditation. It's used to help cultivate compassion for others as well as compassion for yourself and your own struggles. To begin, pick a comfortable place to sit. You don't have to sit in any particular way as long as you're comfortable. You can sit in a chair or a meditation pillow or on a kneeling meditation bench. Just sit comfortably. It's up to you whether or not you keep your eyes open or if you close them. Once again, just do what feels comfortable for you in this moment. Although most people find it easier to do this meditation with closed eyes. Now in a moment, I'm going to ring a bell that will signal the beginning of this meditation. Begin just by focusing on your breath, on the feeling of breathing, being in this present moment. In your mind, imagine appearing in front of you a version of yourself. As you see yourself, begin to view yourself through a compassionate lens. One of the easiest ways to do this is to allow different phrases to pop up in your mind. Now, traditionally, there are four phrases that can help generate compassion. They are as follows. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe or may you be free from danger. And may you live with ease. May things not be a struggle. You can allow those phrases to arise in your mind, directed towards that version of yourself. Or if there's other phrases that perhaps come to mind that generate very similar feelings, you can allow those to pop up as well. You don't have to try and generate particularly loving and kind feelings. Just allow those phrases to pop up in your mind, directed at yourself. Almost like you're planting seeds of intention. May you be happy. May you be safe. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. You don't have to repeat those phrases constantly, just allow them to arise naturally.
Now you can imagine a person that you care about. This can be a teacher or a mentor or a friend, someone who you naturally wish the best for. Once you pick a person, you can begin directing those same phrases towards them as well, wishing them happiness and health. Saying to them, in your mind, may you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you live with ease. May things not be a struggle for you. Now go ahead and imagine someone who you don't have very strong feelings for one way or another. Maybe it's someone that you see regularly but you don't know very well, such as a grocery store clerk or a coworker in another part of the company you work at. Or it might even be a stranger that you might have seen recently. Someone who you don't have strong feelings for one way or another. You don't dislike them or you don't like them strongly. They're just another human being. Once you have someone in your mind, begin wishing them those same things that you wished for yourself. May you live with ease. May you be safe. May you be healthy. May you be happy. Just simply wishing the best for that person. Planting those seeds of intention.
Good. Now imagine a difficult person. This might be someone who you don't mesh well with, or perhaps someone who doesn't treat you very well, or who has wronged you in the past in some way. It's important to remember that all beings everywhere just want to be happy, to be healthy, to be safe. Even this difficult person. And by wishing this difficult person these things, you are not condoning their actions or giving them permission to treat you badly in the future. Instead, you're simply acknowledging the truth that they are a human being. They are flawed, just like you are. And we are all fighting a hard battle, unique to us. So begin directing those phrases towards them as well. Imagine them in front of you in your mind. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you live with ease. And if you find this to be difficult, because it often is, you can imagine yourself alongside that difficult person, wishing both of you those things, happiness, health, safety, and ease. Good. Now allow your mind to be blank for a moment, or perhaps just to focus on your breath. You will next direct those positive phrases towards all beings everywhere. Because all beings everywhere want those same things, to be happy, to be safe. Now this can be difficult to comprehend, all beings everywhere, so sometimes it's easier to imagine pairs, such as all beings everywhere that are sick, wishing them kindness, and the next, wishing all beings everywhere that are healthy, wishing them happiness and safety. Simply imagining different pairs, the old, the young, those that speak your language and those that do not, perhaps those who are meditating right now and those who are not meditating in this moment. Feel free to use your imagination. Allow those positive intentions to be directed towards all beings everywhere.
Wonderful. You've just completed a metta meditation, also known as a loving kindness meditation. You can begin to stretch any muscles that you need to, being kind to your body as you become more aware of the room. And what are you noticing now? You can continue on through the rest of the day and maybe even notice how your relationships or how you view others begins to change. Maybe even how the relationship with yourself begins to change. Have a wonderful rest of your day.